Good morning, and uh, thanks for coming. So um, today I'm going to uh, say something serious. So it looks like <laughs> serious things are not very much popular. <laughs> um, yeah. So okay. So before uh, I talk about the ser serious business, I first give you a very quick introduction to the uh, research group the survey. So we have this uh, nature-inspired uh, computing and, and engineering group. Uh, we have currently seven academic staff and also uh, s uh, some uh, research fellows and uh, PhD students. So currently, this is uh, my current uh, main ac ac uh, activity. So we are working on uh, evolution and, and uh, learning for engineering design optimization. So this is one of the main topic. And uh, we're also working on uh, evolutionary developmental systems or swarm robots and also application of learning and optimization to bioinformatics uh, problems, like uh, uh, vaccine selection or uh, reconstruction of gene rail networks uh, in bacteria. OK, so, yeah, so, so this is where Surrey is. Uh, it's very close to uh, London and the Heathrow Airport and also like the gateway, yeah, so some 30 minutes to 50 minutes distance from the center of the London. And so some nice pictures I took at uh, on campus, yeah. <laughs> and this is the sport facility uh, of, uh, of uh, we have. It's quite nice. I always play uh, play badminton there. Okay, so now um, my talk today. Uh, I'm going to talk about two uh, evolution algorithms for solving multi-objective optimization problems, and these two algorithms are related because both use a so-called model-based approach. Yeah, so we do not use the typical or traditional crossover mutation to create uh, new individuals. Instead, we use models. We build a model for creating new solutions. And the main difference between these two, uh, in the first one, we want to build a model in a latent space and, uh, and then create a kind of sample new solutions from this space. But in the second approach, which is a, a recent one, uh, we try to build an inverse model, which maps a solution from the objective space to the decision space. And the main purpose of the, doing this is to have a better control of uh, where you want to create a solution, kind of uh, expressing user preference. And let's see uh, what benefit we could have by doing this. So yeah, just a few uh, words about <coughs> multi-objective optimization. So as you know, maybe um, uh, multi-objective optimization do problems does, do not have a single solution like in single object optimization, but they have a number of trade-off solutions. Yeah, so you, uh, and so typically, you get a solution set when you solve multi-object optimization problems. And so this is a definition. So you have 